do I got to give the book analogy? It's so element. I don't like to use it. I mean, Revelation. I don't, Revelation is I don't like to describe it. Okay. Revelation twenty two describes the Torah. The Torah. It's five books, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they're uh, they're all in essence uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. They are all in essence essentially Torah, right? They are all Torah. Yes. Okay. So, is the Torah eternal? Is the Torah eternal? I mean, God's word is eternal. God is Psalm one nineteen eighty nine says that Yahweh's word is established forever in heaven. So it's eternal, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so that's all. That's all. All, getting at, but all yeah. five of those books are in essence Torah. They are essential. Their very essence being, uh, they are ontologically Torah. Right. They are right. co-eternal and they are co-equally. I mean, I don't know. Equal, I don't the, oh, okay. Yeah, they're all, but they're are they? Tour, yes. Are they're they the same? The are they the same books, though? Nope. And we okay. have clear distinctions okay. to define. Okay. Those so, so hang on. So, yes, hang on. Hang on. They're yeah. the same in one sense and different in another. That is basically fundamentally what we believe. So when I say I understand that, that I understand the holy, when, when so when the scripture says the Holy Spirit said set apart for me Paul and Barnabas, and send them you know on this first missionary journey, that in essence is God sending them. But so it was the, the, yeah, this the individual clarify. person of the Holy so Spirit. Spirit. Oh, so yeah. hold on. So, 